Alright guys, Sergio Gobert here, back again today, hope you're all enjoying your Wednesday. Today, a number of topics to discuss, mainly wanted to talk about this Twitter poll that went down over the last few days or so regarding ESPN. Obviously not a big deal, it's Twitter poll, like, regardless, but still a kind of interesting topic to discuss. Call of Duty has still got it in terms of the Twitter game, a few other topics as well to get into. Like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new as always, I would greatly appreciate it. And this weekend, as we talked about yesterday, the CDL returns with the Dallas Home Series, not in Dallas, going to be played online, but still branded per the team just to try and keep things as they were and make sure the team still get the opportunity to promote their own kind of branding. Wanted to talk about this from Draft Buff. If you guys don't have Draft Buff, the app, feel free to download it. The link to this invite will be in the pinned comment and the description box below. This is effectively a traditional style fantasy tournament. You guys may have joined my fantasy league kind of thing we did where there is a proper draft where only one player gets to choose a certain player, a certain Call of Duty professional player. This time it's different. You have a starting salary. You have to choose five players that fit to that salary and that's the players you get to have on your team. So they all have different um, you know, amounts that they're worth depending on how they've performed in previous events and the like. If you guys would like to join that, try and beat me. The, um, the link will be down below. I think it takes up to like 500 people so don't think you should have any issues getting in should be good fun and a good way to compete with myself and some of the other guys coming up to this weekend to see if your team happens to be the best in the course of it so some more traditional fantasy stuff down below let's hop right into things here then so I wanted to talk about this this um patch that's coming out pretty much today or very very soon indeed so there's some new maps coming into play Crucially, Backlot, if you guys remember this map from the original Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered as well, and now this Modern Warfare, they're bringing back Backlot, it's called something slightly different, we have this Sawmill map, we have this um, closed off version of this uh, Incursion map, so something to keep your eyes on, I doubt that the, um, the map meta, the map set will change for the competitive side, but Backlot was a good map back in the day for Search and Destroy, they used to play it in Domination as well back in when that was a competitive mode way back in the day, so who knows whether it will come back in this game um possible the other maps could back, come back into play as well so i don't think it's entirely out of the question we may see some map set changes then again all of the tournaments this season are maximum at two weeks apart which means that if you're going to make a change you're going to have to make it right after one of the events and every team has two weeks to kind of practice on that new map unless you let people know in advance this map is going to be played in the competitive map set from say i don't know start of may onwards or start of you know middle of may whatever they decide to do maybe they switch things up halfway through the season Season, or halfway through the rest of the season we have and say look this is going to be the map set from this date let people know two weeks in advance so then they have two weeks to prep before two weeks to prep after before the next event you could say but you know who knows whether that will even happen definitely not um, not particularly likely in my opinion then we have this so playstation 5 controller was leaked yesterday or not actually leaked i think it was just revealed by playstation it looks like this um this is kind of the thing you would expect it looks like a controller a lot of people saying it looks like an xbox controller but you know both these companies microsoft and sony they're both trying to aim for perfection really the best possible controller you can get so of course both companies are probably going to even in on a pretty similar design so this is what it looks like pretty snazzy to be honest this version in particular um dual sense they're calling it so sounds pretty cool but we'll have to wait uh, when the ps5 comes out and all of that and there's questions being arisen like when call of duty the next cod does come out on ps5 whenever the next call of duty that is going to be on ps5 comes out is that the point we move to PC? Does it stay on controller? I mean, of course, hopefully it stays on controller, but do we move to PC rather than being sponsored by Sony and the PlayStation? Do the games start being played on PC just with controllers? Um, that's a discussion we've had a couple of times over the last few months. So let's talk about this poll. If you guys aren't aware, Esports 64 is a, um, well, it's an annual thing that ESPN Esports do. And they choose 64 personalities from a lot of esports scenes and bring them together for a community fun competition. In previous years, Call of Duty tends to do pretty well on these because it's no secret that Call of Duty esports is the dominant force in the Twitter sphere. Even though Counter Strike and other esports are bigger um, overall on Twitter, Call of Duty's always dominated. It's dominated for a long time. Um, you know, Crim6, of course, sitting pretty with 832,000 followers right here. And he isn't even the most well known. Like, you look at Nade Shot's page, you look at Scump's page, they're in the 2 3 million mark in terms of Twitter followers, which is quite remarkable. So, here we get a Twitter poll, and it was kind of interesting. We had this whole matchup Call of Duty versus Rainbow Six. It was kind of entertaining. At the end of the day, it's a Twitter poll. Nobody really cares. But I did think it was kind of funny because a lot of the Rainbow Six guys were 
initially at these polls saying, oh, Rainbow Six doesn't lose these polls, like, this is our time, Call of Duty can't handle us, um, and a lot of tweets to this effect, and as it turns out, they did win the one against Crim6, but Skump prevailed in the other poll without even having to retweet it, because if Skump had retweeted the other poll, it would have been dead in a heartbeat, but, you know, they managed to make it work. Fair play if you guys were on the Rocket League side, if you guys watched that scene, it was good doing battle with you, um, you beat us on this one, we beat you on the other one, so it all's kind of even, and we'll have to see going forwards how, um, how that develops right where the scum wins before I think I remember a couple of years ago they used to do this not on uh, Twitter polls so of course in these you can only vote once whereas in um, I think what they did a couple of years ago formal was one of the players and he was struggling up against some other player maybe it was formal versus simple or whatever it was a guy from Counter-Strike level offensive if you're not aware and in that one it was done on some other website and you could vote repeatedly so someone came up with this bot or this program you could run that would just vote repeatedly and formal was racking up like hundreds of thousands of these um you know botted vote so now they've done it in a more legitimate way but this is what happened so Call of Duty once again proved their superiority here uh, this is only one of the early rounds so we'll have to see but Skump versus Pengu this tournament early on Pengu was in the lead here so initially when it had like 50,000 40,000 votes Pengu was up like 60 40 and it was looking pretty bad for Skump but the Call of Duty community managed to bring it back so pretty entertaining a lot of tweets go out to this effect as, as Simp says right here Seth hasn't even promoted this yet and at the time Skump was just about in the lead maybe about 53% of the time so this just ended up um, last night I believe and Pristini says please sir just end this with a simple retweet that's all we're asking but who knows Skump might come up against a tougher battle going forwards as well so Skump was the four seed uh, Pengu was the 15th seed and uh, as you can see right here, Khan was like, hit the retweet set. So pretty entertaining. And the reason why a lot of this was sparked, a lot of the Call of Duty community players and the community itself were talking about this is because a lot of the individuals from the Rainbow Six community, whether well-intentioned or not, they were having a bit of a dig, right? So it's always entertaining when um, when you, you can do your best to get your own back on these people, I suppose, is how some people saw it. But fair play to Pengu, of course, he comes out and says, can I just point out how wonderful it is to share the love of esports? What an honor it was to be crushed by Scump, his fan base of the cod scene i've seen so many clashes in the comment section about who's better but you know what screw that esports is the real mvp so some nice wholesome stuff here nice to see um esports generally just having so many interactions on twitter doesn't really matter who wins at the end of the day but being a call of duty competitive channel i thought it was worth talking about so here were a few of the comments that got um i think some of the people in the cod scene a little bit riled up and uh, some of the people in the cod scene deciding um it's time we shut this one down once and for all and uh, show our superiority so is a cheap boost here says a skilled back to back to back major winner that being Pengu versus a tier four console game pro besides Rainbow Six never loses a Twitter poll. Um, so some good replies to this. This is another tweet. It's really COD versus Siege for both Pengu and Canadian, but you already know that Siege community never loses. Um, you know, in, in terror, I think he was just kind of minding his own business here talking about voting for Pengu, but some of the replies to this, uh, <laughs> you know, it was all kind of kicking off on Twitter. COD, COD community were, really thought they were going to win. Um, Scump is big bigger than your entire esport so some quite entertaining stuff don't necessarily endorse all of this back and forth but it's quite funny like you can be fans of both games that's perfectly reasonable but I always do kind of funny funny uh, kind of entertaining when esports fans go at each other I remember uh, in London last year CWL London in 2019 um the whole CSGO are uh, dot 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 if you guys remember that one um you're a bit of an OG and college cod replies with a really funny one here actually internal cod banter all the agendas like iron each other up it's time to take each other down cod versus anyone else just uh, it's time to crush Thanos so yeah, pretty entertaining, and Call of Duty did come out on top, and one of the reasons why people were talking about this in more depth was the fact that ESL Rainbow Six, so the actual official league, were retweeting and were talking about this poll, right? That's why um, it kind of felt kind of sweet, I guess, from some Call of Duty players' perspective to end up taking this one down, because the ESL Rainbow Six Twitter account was retweeting this poll and uh, take our energy pengu, and then they did this tweet as well. Our opposition is slowly closing the gap, we're not going to let that happen, right? Um, but Skunk gets the job done without even having to retweet things so entertaining of course doesn't really matter what uh, what happens here it's only a twitter poll at the end of the day but i did want to say that you know call of duty community has always dominated these throughout the years it's no secret that we're the dominant force on our Twitter. Unfortunately, our eSport isn't quite at the tier one standards like our Twitter game is, um, which would be great to see going forwards. I really do hope that next year when Treyarch's Call of Duty game comes out, supposed to be some sort of either Black Ops 5 or Black Ops like best of type of game, 
it gets great support. We are seeing right now the online stuff. We've got integrated GBs, no ranked players yet. Maybe that will never come. But regardless, on the competitive side, the franchise league seems to be working out kind of well in the first season. There's some things that I'm still not a massive fan of, but they've made some improvements to the challenger stuff with this online league going on. Last year was almost like a pseudo franchise league where, you know, the teams couldn't get dropped out of the league, but they didn't have to buy in. This league, it really kicked off, but the game I don't think is great. A lot of casual players do really enjoy Modern Warfare, but I think from the competitive side, it's maybe not the most competitive. I don't really think it's the most entertaining to watch. Treyarch have always been right on top of that. We talked about the other day, if you guys didn't see it, how um, Treyarch did a job application for one of their senior kind of managers for the next Call of Duty title, really. And it mentions in the description a couple of times, have some experience and have expect to you know be involved in competitive Call of Duty and be involved in league play and ranked play and all these other features. So Trek are clearly setting the ball down to make a very competitive title, which they've always been really, really good at. So I definitely do hope that um, not only can our Twitter game continue to dominate, but really Call of Duty does become more reputable as an eSport going forward. Yes, it's a console title, but we're pretty much the best console title. So, you know, that at the very least is nice. I don't really want to move to PC and then go into that category because then you start getting crushed by Counter-Strike and League of Legends for good reason, right? But to be considered one day a tier one eSport would be the goal for Call of Duty in my opinion. Opinion. I do think it's possible. So many people enjoy the game and really like playing it. It's always that the marry of the casual and the competitive side, which has always been such an issue. So this was the final thing I just wanted to say on this Twitter poll right here. It comes on the Reddit. Where did this Rainbow Six thing come from? Connor's always dominated these. Scump didn't even respond. Their whole scene did and still couldn't win. I'm trying to figure this out since uh, Rainbow Six Pro has never actually won one of the ESPN polls in previous year. Like what notable poll have they even won in the past that the COD community doesn't know about? Apparently Pengu was the uh, poster boy from Rainbow Six. Don't know too much about Rainbow Six, but I'm sure you guys are more well informed and you can leave those thoughts in the comment section below so like if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new as always a couple of clips maybe to finish out the video thanks for watching as always stay safe i'll see you next time one enemy remaining dying it sucks oh <laughs> what do they think this is <laughs> backyard scrimmage <laughs> God damn it. I wasn't even that hurt. <laughs>